Okay, folks, James McCormick here with Digging History. Going to do the reveals for today. Today's the 29th of February, uh, 2020. It's Saturday. It was brisk. I almost didn't go metal detecting. I was supposed to get with uh, Corbett, and uh, he was busy, so, um, and it was cold. So, <laughs> I uh, decided to go across the river, so I actually went into Ohio, and that's a, a, a pretty good place to go, and um, found some cool things, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of show you some of the cooler things that I found. I found a printing press uh, uh, plate, you know, the plates where they used to do the printing, and this right here is actually a picture of a man, and... Um, He's leaning on a broom, and he's reading a newspaper. So I'm not sure, you know, what this came from, but it's only part of it. And, you know, it's everything is backwards um, whenever they, you know, you find these pieces of, of printing block. And usually, back in the day, they, they would have to etch this out and in lead, and then they would put it in the printing press, and they'd just make papers, you know, all day long. Uh, and then once they were done, they usually destroyed them and remelted the lead and made a new one. Every now and then, you go around and you find these. Now, I found a great big piece here. And, uh, um, it's a, it's a, it's a paint. So, it's, uh, it's Kerfees. K-U-R-F-E-E-S. K-U-R-F-E-E-S. E E S, and uh, and it says uh, uh, it says no <laughs> no one's paint is no one no one's paint like it, and and that's the name of a paint company. So it's an advertisement, and then. There's some things here, um, and I haven't got my magnifying glass out and looked at it, but, you know, it was a pretty big plate. I found it on the top of a hill in the middle of the woods, so I was, was really surprised to find it where I found it at. So possibly, you know, somebody was taking them and, and melting them and making them into sinkers. I don't know. Um, but I found that, which is really cool. So if there's anybody interested in old printing... Uh, block. I'm going to say this is probably from the 40s, uh, early 50s, uh, maybe that time frame. I'm not sure. Uh, I know some people like these because they like to do reprints of these, these articles and then hang them up on the wall. So anyone's interested, let me know and, and we'll, uh, we'll work it out. So the other things that I found. So I found a cool little matchbox car. So I will clean that up. Uh, probably from the 80s. I'll have to look and see if there's a date on it. Um, and, uh, but, but I'll clean it up and, and probably give it to one of my grandkids. So, there you go. I found an old watch, um, uh, old watch mechanism. So, I found this up in the woods. I always like finding these. Look how intricate that is. You know, all of the, you know, the cogs and things. It's just an interesting piece I'll probably give this to Corbett because he likes to fool with these things, and um, and and that's just kind of his thing. So uh, here you go, old buddy. You'll have one of these. Now for the coins. So I found some modern coins. I found two modern quarters. Um, not old, but it's cool. Fifty cents. Found three modern dimes. Eighty cents. And I found five. Uh, modern uh pennies so you know i found 85 cents in change i'll put it in my little bank over there and like i said i'm finding somewhere around 35 to 40 some bucks you know that's that's what i generally find uh every month it's consistent i find change lots and lots of change <coughs> and i save it and at the end of the month we put it in the bank and that becomes how i go out and do what i do and and then we have peace at the house. <laughs> so I found some older coins as well. So I found the uh, a 1940 penny, wheat penny, 
Uh, always like finding old wheat pennies. Found two old nickels. Now, this one's not real old. It's 1964, but I am going to put it with my older uh, coins. Uh, and then um, I found a... I'm sorry, this was a 1945 penny. This was a 1940 nickel, Jefferson nickel. Then I found a 1907, uh, what they call V-nickel. It's, it's hard to really make it out, but you get that thing wet and you, you can, you know, and I'll do some more cleaning on it, but I can see the date really good. And on the back, you know, they call it a V-nickel simply because it's got the Roman numeral 5 on the back. And uh, it's really cool. It's a cool-looking coin. 1907. So, uh, you know, not a bad day. Not a bad day at all. So, what's this? 113 years old. And good day. Better than sitting on the couch. Better than doing nothing. Uh, probably put in five, five and a half, uh, six miles. I have to check my... Uh, my watch there, but you know, on average, I, I'm burning about 2,000 calories a day uh, out walking, doing this, uh, and then you know, your intake is somewhere around 1,800 to 2,000 calories. So if you're if you're breaking even, or in some cases, if you're wanting to lose weight, you want to, you know, you want to burn more than you take in, and then that's what will start to burn off the weight. And then once you get to a weight that you're comfortable with, then just kind of watch what you take in and then try to put in. So if you take in 1,800 calories a day, then try to burn 1,800 to 2,000 uh, calories a day. And that's kind of how, you know, you get yourself uh, back in shape. And this has been great, and I've said this a thousand times, folks. You absolutely, uh, you know, can improve your whole quality of life. Everything improves whenever you uh, have a healthier lifestyle. So I didn't take a shower. I didn't get all, all spruced up because this is, this is kind of what I look like when I come off of these, uh, these adventures and a lot of uphill, downhill. And um, so hopefully this week we'll make it back out to Scary Creek, West Virginia. We got a few sites that we want to really hit hard. <clears throat> I'm still believe that we will find some cannonballs out there. I do. Where? I have no idea. But I'm, I'm looking forward to getting out there and trying to find these things. So, And I will do that. Now, now's the time to do it because the brush is down. You know, because in the summertime, I'm telling you, you're not getting anywhere uh, inside of uh, some of these places just because it's so thick and the greenbrier is terrible. Uh, the multifloral rose... Uh, it's terrible, and when I see it in the wintertime, I'll tell you, I cut it down. I do every time I see it, and I hope that I kill it out because um, it is an invasive species, and, um, you know, it makes it makes things miserable um, in the summertime. So uh, that and, and all the other uh, nasty things that are out there. So um, that's about it. Remember, you can't find it sitting on the couch. Found some cool printing press plates, found some cool coins, and above all, I had a great time today and just working out and feeling good. So, God bless each and every one of you. Have a great day, and uh, follow us on uh, Digging History on the YouTube channel. It's called Digging T History with Gun Truck LT, and uh, that's myself and Corbett Perkins uh, that run that site. And you can also catch us on the Lib West Virginia Library Commission. We have a television show that airs, you know, uh, all throughout the month. So we make one show that's replayed over and over uh, throughout the month. So, you know, make sure that uh, if you didn't get a chance to watch it, it does play on local television uh, channels. And if you can't get it, then you can always go to YouTube and pick it up under the West Virginia Library Commission and just look for Digging History. So, have a great day, folks, and uh, thanks for following us, uh, following us and giving us a like on uh, YouTube, and, and stick with us, and we'll show you some really cool things. Take care. God bless. Have a good day.